This seems to be at the west end of Main Street, and that might be the elevator visible behind the light pole. It was immediately after the picnic at Smith Park, and at the end of that roll of film. As far as I can tell, this is the first role Bob McGowan filmed. I assume he would be anxious to get it developed. So this is probably still on May 21st, 1937, or within a few days after. Okay, there's people at the creamery. It must be Harl Geimer at the far right. And that's Tom Geimer on the left. Well, Harl and Tom were brothers. The Runwick Community Creamery was announced to the people of Runwick in the November 5th, 1931 edition of the Runwick Times. It was built, owned, and operated by A.D. Geimer and his son Harl. By this time, the younger son Tom had joined the business. The creamery opened for business on January 2nd, 1932. It continued in operation by the Geimer family until the 1980s. Oh, that's Doc Stafford. He was the veterinarian in town. Doc Yarborough, another veterinarian, moved to the area a couple years after this. This must be at what was then Johnson's Garage. It was on the north side of Main Street, the second building west of Montgomery Street. Those guys I don't know. It was owned by Guy Johnson. Eight months after this was filmed, he closed down and moved to Belmond, where he took over a Dodge dealership. Shortly after that, it was purchased by Sam Neerham and Guy Hanson. Okay, that might be Jimmy Bell. Jimmy was the son of Uncle Bob's sister, Winnie. He would be another one that was killed in that uh, bus class. According to Mom, the stand in the upper center of the scene was a popcorn stand in the summer. About 1939, it became Tiny's Corn Crib, run by Howard Persons, who was a big man known as Tiny. He later moved into a building next to the old bank and was open year-round. 